Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video and this is all of the things I've been loving recently, all in one video. By the way, have you ever thought to yourself, why don't more YouTubers make videos in their gardens in the summer? Because you cannot believe the faff involved. First it was too light, then it was too bright, then I had to get the umbrella up, then it was too shady, then I couldn't see, then I couldn't find my sunglasses, then I found the wrong sunglasses, then I put sunglasses on that weren't mine and couldn't work out why I couldn't see because they weren't prescription. I should have just stayed inside. <laughs> Here I am, I'm in the garden. It is actually a really nice day. This massive cloud just gone overhead because I said that. But it's actually a really nice day and it seems silly to sit indoors and froust away when I could be out here talking to you guys in the sunshine. So I thought I'd be clever and here we are. I've got notes. I'm surrounded by a pile of stuff, um, but I've got notes as well to remind me of the things I want to mention that I didn't have in physical format. So I've broken this up into categories and we have got entertainment, food, hair and beauty, clothing. Okay, so we're going to start with entertainment. I have been loving on my Kindle recently. Kindle here. Do you know what? I'll link a Kindle below. Yes, it will be an affiliate link for Amazon. No, you probably won't buy one, but I'll link it anyway. Why wouldn't I? If you haven't got a Kindle and you enjoy books, it will change your life. It is the it's, it's the entire world in, in portable handbag size, you know. So I'll link one below. This um, this is my Jules Kindle case, which came from the car boot sale. I doubt whether I could even find that to link for you, but if I can, I'll find it. But it came from a car boot sale. It was a couple of quid. It might have been a charity shop. Anyway, I have been loving on my Kindle books by an author I'd never heard of before. Now, you may know that I enjoy Golden Age of Crime stories. The light is going to be shocking. I can only apologise. I enjoy Golden Age of Crime stories. Um, so these are, this is crime fiction written from kind of like 1910 to 1940-ish. That's my, that's my favourite genre of crime stories. I don't like the modern stuff. I don't like too much blood and gore. I don't like the modern trend for describing the corpse in great detail and I uh, don't like that. Golden Age of Crime stuff, Agatha Christie, that style of writing. I discovered a new author called Gret Lane and I have read the complete Kate Marsh mysteries. There are nine of them. It's nine Golden Age detective novels and I brought it all in one collection for Kindle and I'll link it below if it's still available because sometimes with Kindle things seem to come and go. I'll link it below if it's still available. I've really enjoyed them. They're just kind of a bit light-hearted. A couple of very touching moments in there but a bit light-hearted, very enjoyable and I will link those below. If you like Golden Age of Crime Detective Fiction you will like these I think. Also in books not on my Kindle, I will link this again if it's still available on Amazon, I've got Claudia Winkleman quite and I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm only a little way in. You can see my, you can see my little bookmark there. But I am really enjoying it because she is. I don't know if she wrote it herself. I'm assuming that she wrote it herself because it sounds like her. Do you know what I mean? When sometimes you find that that somebody's autobiography has been ghostwritten, it doesn't sound like them. But, but yeah, this sounds like her. So I think she wrote it herself, or at the very least dictated it. And I would heartily recommend that. If you like Claudia Winkleman, you will enjoy this. There's a fly. Of course there's a fly. TV next. I don't watch a lot of ordinary TV, a lot of main, not mainstream, what's the word, you know, like, like regular terrestrial TV, the stuff that's on BBC One. I tend to watch it later as a box set or an iPlayer or whatever, about 10 years after everybody else has enjoyed it, when somebody says to me, did you not see that? I tend to go and watch it. And I am enjoying, at the moment, on DVD, still TV, Two Broke Girls. Natalie and I are watching this from the beginning. I've had them on the bookshelf for a long time and not watched them. Really enjoying this. So if you haven't seen Two Broke Girls, it's an American comedy series. Don't even know when it was released. I wonder if it'll have dates on the back. 2011, 2012. So they go, it's 10 years old and I'm just finding out about it. But really enjoying this. I think there's five or six seasons, so I'm hopefully going to be able to watch my way through all of them. Although I think the later seasons might be a bit expensive. So, But yeah, really enjoying that. Recommend that. It is the story of um, an heiress who loses her fortune because her dad gets done for embezzlement, finds herself in, is it Brooklyn? A Brooklyn diner, waiting tables, pals up with the other waitress who is very, very feisty and street smart and it's just very, very funny. Very much recommend that. Turn the Kindle off. And then of course YouTube. Obviously I watch YouTube. Who wouldn't watch YouTube? I am enjoying three channels at the moment that I wanted to mention. I'm enjoying lots of channels but I go through fits and starts so I'll, I'll 
one one week one week a month I might watch all cooking channels and then I might get very bored with that and go and watch something like budgeting or whatever. But at the moment I'm really enjoying Budget with Ira. I'll link these down below for you. Budget with Ira is a cash budgeting. I enjoy cash budgeting YouTube channels, even though I don't follow the cash budgeting process myself at the moment. And um, I really like Ira. He's he's really good. He has an Etsy store where he sells all of his cash budgeting supplies. I haven't bought anything, sorry Ira, but I do watch your videos religiously and I'll link those below. So that's my cash budgeting one. In a general sense, I really enjoy Beatrice Caruso. This is the second time I've mentioned her in a video this week. I'll link her below again. I said before she's 30 something. She's an American YouTuber. She's got, I think she's about 300,000 sub subscribers, something like that. So working her way towards half a million subs. Um, and she's just very, very real, very down to earth, incredibly articulate, very, very clever, very funny, um, very bold, but also timid and dealing with anxiety and stuff like that so she's she, I really really enjoy her channel I'll link that below for you and then in the reselling community I've just discovered Master of Pieces and weirdly enough I discovered him I've obviously I've seen him on Instagram and stuff like that but I hadn't watched his, his channel and I discovered that I enjoyed his YouTube channel because Kaza mentioned him slim along with Kaza she mentioned him he's a Welsh guy and I presume that's why how she got to know him um, she mentioned him on, on one of her videos and I really enjoy it. I'll, I'll link Kaza as well, why not? Slim Along with Kaza will be below. Only she's not called Slim Along with Kaza, but she's called a bit of Kaza now. I'll link that below for you. But I'll also link Master of Pieces. He's a Welsh reseller up in the valley somewhere, I think. Although if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody correct me. And I'm just really enjoying his reselling content. So there you go. Three channels for you to check out if you haven't already seen them. Master of Pieces, Beatrice Caruso, Budget with Ira. All linked below in the description box for you. That's entertainment done. My next category on my very, very comprehensive notes is food. I'm going to go and grab something out of the freezer. Bear with, I'll be back. I'm back. Now, of course, when I use the phrase I've discovered something, I realise I'm not Dr Livingston or whoever it was, wandering around in the Amazon discovering things that other people already knew were there. But I've, they, these are new to me. Um, these are Sainsbury's and they are lamb kofta kebabs. As you can see, these have been my freezer because I picked them up yellow stickered. At shelf price, they're £4 a pack and there's six in there. So Kai's just spotted me with a handful of meat. Stop it. You're not having it. So at shelf price, they're £4. And that is somewhat expensive because there are six in there and they are not huge. But because they are iced up, it's difficult for me to show you. But I think you can just about make out the shape and size of them. They're not huge and there's six in there. So £4 is a little bit pricey but they're quite often in the yellow sticker section because perhaps they are a little bit marmite or perhaps some people don't aren't brave enough to try coffee I don't know but they are 102 calories per skewer I find that two of those with salad and rice is enough for a meal and I got them in the yellow sticker section for 269 so they are lamb kofti kebabs from Sainsbury's there's the packaging if you want to go check those out they're bloody delicious bit of salad bit of savoury rice some of that Crucial's dipping sauce, so good. I'll put them back in the freezer. And then I have two other food related items to show you. Um, so the first are these. I know you've seen these a lot. If you watch my um, What I Eat videos, you've seen these an awful lot. These are Fulfill Protein Bars. I've tried lots of different vitamin and protein bars from lots of different um, shops and lots of different brands and nearly all, nearly all taste odd. They have a strange texture. Once again, I apologise for the light changing. It's as the clouds go over the sun. They have a strange texture. Te I can't say text. Te and now somebody's mowing their lawn. They have a strange texture. Most protein bars have a kind of a gritty texture, I find. These do not have that gritty texture. They come in several different flavours. This salted caramel is my favourite. It's been out here in the sun with me for 10 minutes, it's gone a little bit soft. It has a crunchy coating there. Soft, almost nugget inside. Nougat. This is the 40 gram size. It's 140 calories. It's 141. 148, I tell lies, it's the peanut one that's 140. 148 calories. So that's less than a Mars bar, but it is at least for me, it is at least as nice as a Mars bar. That's a big thing when you're on a diet and trying not to eat too many Mars bars. I'm going to pop this back in the fridge a second. Don't you fear, I told you I had two more food items and I actually had three. So this is the third one of the four that I've got to show you. These are M&S pickled red onions. So, so nice. I've been having a little tiny, tiny bit of this. Sometimes I have a wrap with one of those coffee kebabs in or with something else. A little tiny bit. I don't need much. There is... 
And if you can see the bottom, some kind of scary chilli seed thing in there. The ingredient says red onions, water, sugar, vinegar, salt, chilies, coriander seeds, black peppercorns and pink peppercorn. I have to be careful when putting a portion of these onto my salad or my wrap or whatever that I don't get a peppercorn. I had a really gorgeous wrap um, a couple of weeks ago I had chicken satay skewers and I took them off the skewers and I put them into the wrap and I had iceberg lettuce and grated carrot and some of that crucial sauce and I popped on a few of these and I must have popped in a peppercorn and not realised. And I ate my way all through the wrap and it was so nice and the very last mouthful had the peppercorn in it. <laughs> nearly finished me off. I don't, I don't have anything, I, don't, I can't cope with anything. <laughs> that nearly ended me. So I have to be very careful now to make sure I don't accidentally get a peppercorn in my face. But apart from that, they're very, very delicious. I think they were about a pound a jar. And then the last food item is actually an empty packet because I don't have a full one to show you. These are Aldi protein puddings. Again, I'm trying to increase my protein intake because protein keeps you fuller for longer and is better than carbs. These protein puddings are, I think they're a pound each. They might be, might be just over a pound. I apologise if I'm lying about the price. They're 160 calories. They are so nice. I ate a lot of yoghurt. I was eating protein yoghurt. It was fine, but it was still just yoghurt. Yoghurt to me doesn't feel like remotely like a treat. Yoghurt feels like being well behaved. Yoghurt feels like I'm being a good girl, I'm having a yoghurt. You know, yoghurt's not a treat. Who has a yoghurt as a, as a treat? Any, anybody who's telling you they have a yoghurt as a treat wants their head wobbled. This feels like a proper treat. And if you put a tiny squirt of lighter squirty cream on top, it only adds about 10, 20 calories and it makes it the dogs. Oh my God, so good. So damn good. They do them in caramel, chocolate and vanilla. They're all good. That's it for food. I'm going to want my lunch in a minute. Is that right? It's only half past 11. <laughs> That's it for my food section. Next up is hair and beauty. This isn't hair or beauty, really. This is just personal, personal grooming, personal hygiene. If you are looking for a decent deodorant that will last, this is the one. It says it lasts up to 48 hours. Now, obviously, we don't normally give it a chance to find out because we, we bath and shower and put on more deodorant in between. But I do believe that it would if you wanted it to. I use the, there's several ones. There's powder fresh, spring fresh and something else. And I use all three of them. It is the ultimate. You need to look for the one that's in the box. So Mitchum, so I bet you know. Mitchum do several different deodorants. They do a spray. They do a roll on. They do one that looks like this, but it isn't in the box. And then you need to look for the one that's in the box if you want this one. This is Mitchum Ultimate. And it is a gel that turns into a powder. This is a new one. I didn't bring down my one that I'd used because it's all gunked up and whatever. You peel off the top layer there. And then you can see the holes in the top. I hope you can see the holes in the top. The lighting is really, really difficult. As you turn the base, it pushes that gel up. Eventually, once you've turned it a few times, it will begin to come through the top. This one smells really, really nice. I'm going to apply it on my arm in the hopes that you can see it. I'm sorry if you can't, by the way. Perhaps coming out in the garden to do this video wasn't a good idea. And then, obviously, you'd be rubbing it onto your armpit. It just dries to a powder. Smells lovely, and it really, really lasts. I used, for years, an Avon 24-hour plus roll-on, and I liked it. But for years, I had very, very sore, itchy armpits, and I didn't actually connect the two things didn't actually realise in my dumbness that it was my deodorant that was causing this problem. I had some kind of reaction to it. When I changed to this, it changed my life. My armpits aren't sore anymore. It lasts. It's really, really good. It's not cheap. It's, I think it's normally about four or five quid, but it's quite often on Tesco Club Card deal. So what I do is I wait till it goes on Tesco Club Card deal and then I stock up on a couple and get it for three pounds something instead of nearly a fiver. Mitchum Ultimate. Anything I can link below, I will. But my links are going to be to places like Amazon and that. And that. Um, obviously, if I can link it in other places, I will. But I'll link everything that I can find in the descriptions box for you. On with hair and beauty. Here's something else that I mentioned in another video a couple of weeks ago. This is the Foera winged eyeliner stamp. I really hope that's focusing. I can't see because I've got sunglasses on. And as I showed you before, it has two ends and there's a shape on each end. You put the stamp in the corner of your eyes, and then I use this, which is L'Oreal Ultra Precision Gel Liner, Super Liner, to just draw in the lines and, and join it up. This is how I look with it on. You should know that I am a klutz when it comes to eye makeup. When I was just trying to draw a wing using just the ordinary eyeliner pen, I would have to remove and reapply my eyeliner 
maybe up to five or six times before I could get them even, before they were the same length, before they were straight, before they, before they weren't smudged. That has changed my life. They also do a liquid eyeliner to go with it, and I'm going to buy that next. It's just that I already had this L'Oreal one, so I carried on using it. But this has changed my life. It's about a fiver. It's worth every penny. Also in hair and beauty, I've had a lot of comments recently, which is very, very nice of you guys saying my hair looks nice. I've just had it cut, by the way, two days ago. I do realise it needs dyeing at the moment, but I've had it cut two days ago, which is why it looks a bit shorter. But a lot of you have said it looks really shiny at the moment, and I put it down to this stuff I've been using. I bought this online from, um, I think the company's called Give Me Beauty. You quite often see these advertised on Instagram, and I think that's where they got me. I'm very glad they did. I've got the shampoo, I've finished the conditioner, and so because I finished the conditioner, I've been using the little hair mask instead of conditioner. I think it's changed my hair. My hair is shinier, glossier, smoother, easier to straighten. I'm also using their heat defense spray. I bought, I bought the entire set, you know, you can buy like a set of all of it. I'm using their heat defense spray and I'm using their hair repair cream, which is just, um, it, it strengthens and rescues the appearance of split ends and damaged hair. So you just rub a tiny bit on your palms, smooth it over and it just glues your split ends back down and whatever and stuff like that. So I bought the whole set. I can't remember what it cost me. If I can find that set, I'll link it below. This is not an affiliate link. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think it's really, really good stuff. And if you have been looking at my hair recently and thinking it's been looking better, that's where the credit lies. Is that it for hair and beauty? I think it is. I think that's everything, bear with. Last category, clothes and shoes. And I've only got a couple of things to show you in clothes and shoes. I have mentioned these guys to you before, and I need to disclose that these were gifted to me. These are Llama Leisure Lee Joggers. Still don't know what the pattern's called, but they are a dog print. I already own them in leggings, and Katie, it's Katie at Llama Leisure, has very kindly sent me to them in the Lee Joggers, which are just so comfortable. They have a cuffed ankle. My mate Tammy calls that another thing. I won't say what it, what it is, it's a rude word, but she calls a cuffed ankle something else. It's a something stopper, I'll give you that. But they're elasticated waist with a drawstring, cuffed ankle, softest material known to man. I don't know what they make them out of, I'm Angel's Tears or something. I absolutely love all of the Llama Leisure joggers that I've got. I've got I must have at least four or five pairs of joggers now. Some I have been gifted, but some I purchased with my own money as well because I love them so much that whenever I want a new pair, I just order them. They, she does the most funky, outrageous range of prints, but they also do plain black. I have the leggings in the plain black. I have two pairs with pockets and one pair without, and I absolutely love them. They are so, so comfortable, so soft, so easy to wear. Just the best. I've got my eyes closed in, in ecstasy. I'm, I'm like, just the best ever. You can't even see my eyes because I've got my sunglasses on. But they are the best leggings I have ever owned. I will link them below. And I do have a discount code for Llama Leisure. I think it's CJ10. I think it's CJ10. Check the descriptions box just in case I'm wrong. I'll put it on the screen as well just to double check. Thank you to Katie for sending me these gorgeous new joggers. I love them. And yeah, if you haven't already checked out Llama Leisure, pop over there and have a look because they are really good. And the last thing I've got to show you... It's just a pair of plastic flip-flops, or actually it's two pairs. These are from eBay, and I have been wearing these flip-flops for probably five years or more. I have them in three colours. I have black, dark blue, and white. And I'll tell you a funny story in a minute. But before I tell you about them, let me show you them again. They are really, really simple foam flip-flops. You can put them in the washing machine. You can wear them into the sea, although if they come off your foot, they then bob up next to you and fly on you. Because <laughs> they because they float, you know, they're, they're literally, they're, they're very, very lightweight, they weigh nothing. They have a kind of a spongy insole. They're so comfortable! State of this pair tells you how much I wear them. Like, I've almost worn them flat on the bottom there. So they come, they come with quite a grid on the bottom, and as you can see by the state of my old ones, I've worn them almost flat, and they're pretty minging. These are going in the washing machine now, I've got new ones. Why have I got new ones? Because I lost one of the white ones the other day, had a temper tantrum, went on eBay and ordered myself two new pairs because I was like, it's ridiculous, I've lost a shoe. Five minutes after I'd ordered them, this one turned back up. They are, I think they're about eight quid a pair, seven or eight quid. It, I know the reason I bought two was because when I went to order a new pair of white ones, it was if you buy two pairs, you get an extra 5% off. So I thought I'll have some black ones as well. So I've got new black ones and new white ones. They're dirt cheap. They look cheap. Don't get me wrong, I realise that this is not a glamorous, exotic shoe. But if you want a comfort flip-flop, 
this bit here really soft doesn't rub between your toes because quite a lot of people find the toe post unbearable really soft really comfortable if you want a comfort flip-flop i cannot recommend these highly enough not an affiliate link i don't earn anything if you purchase them i will link them below they are fantastic funny story as i told you i have dark blue and i have black and the other morning i did not open the curtains in my bedroom when i was getting dressed um, and I was only dashing off to the parcel shop. Luckily, I wasn't going to work. I was going to go to the parcel shop and then come back. Got out of the car, wandered into the parcel shop, waiting in the queue to hand over my parcels, glanced down at my feet, and I've got one blue shoe and one black shoe on. <laughs> Luckily, like I said, I was only going to the parcel shop, so I was able to come home and change them. But And I don't know if anybody noticed or not, but I was like, oh dear, I look, I look a bit demented. <laughs> Always check what you've got on your feet before you leave the house. Having said that, I had a friend who left the house with one trainer and one slip-on shoe before. Now that is extreme absent-mindedness, isn't it? I think I'm done. I think I've shown you all the things that I've got in front of me. I've gone through my little bit of notes. I don't think I've missed anything. Like I said, one or two of the links will be affiliate links, but most of them are just links to where I bought stuff and really like it. Um, the only thing in the video that was gifted was the Llama Leisure Joggers, but I would heartily recommend them. If they never gifted me another pair again, I'd still really, rec really recommend them. I think they're bloody wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've given you some inspiration, maybe for some stuff you hadn't thought of trying, or maybe you've been looking for a new deodorant or a new pickled onion or whatever. I hope it's been helpful and that you've enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button. And remember to like and comment. That all apparently really helps the channel, although I don't really understand anything about the algorithm. I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye for now.